Now, when adopting AI, finance can serve as a leader. And so I have a special guest here to talk about this with a long history in finance leadership and currently at one of the leading companies when it comes to applying AI in business use cases. Please help me welcome Laura Moss, the VP of Finance from Cohere. Great. Thanks, Laura, for coming and doing this for, uh, with us today. So we've been partnering with you, with you for a few years, which has been great. Um, why don't you just start by telling us about Cohere's mission and your role in that mission? Great. So Cohere provides enterprise AI solutions for company-specific workflows. We focus on privacy and security and deploy privately in your environment. We also offer data connectors to your uh, private data sets and then help you basically improve your workflows and get value out of this. I think this technology is really exciting, but a lot of our customers, you know, really want to be seeing like, well, how can I use it and how is it going to help me do my day-to-day things and do them better and do them faster? Great. And so you uh, run the finance team? Yeah. So my role at Cohere is I'm the VP of finance. I joined about two years ago. When I joined, we did not have NetSuite. One of the first things that I did was actually my very first project was like, we need a key tool to help us scale. We were growing really quickly at the time. We didn't have an ERP system. So we instituted NetSuite. It's been really great. Cool. And what are like some of the key ways to use NetSuite to help Cohere grow? Yeah. So we use it as our source of truth for financial reporting. Like I said, before that, we were doing everything in kind of Google, you know, Google Sheets and things like that. So it was really hard to keep track of. We use it now for budgeting, financial planning, um, forecasting our accounts receivable. So really a lot of the tools that are important to make sure that you understand how your business is doing and um, where it's going. We use it for all of that information for decision making. Now, you guys are an AI leader, so how do you think finance teams should think about, you know, about AI? And, and you know, how are you thinking about it and using it within uh, your team? Yeah. So when you think about AI, I think at first it can be overwhelming. What can I possibly do with this really, really powerful technology? So my advice is always to take a step back and think, where am I looking through unstructured data? Where am I doing tasks that maybe are repetitive or take a lot of time as you know, a financial analyst where your accountant's spending time. And then you can use it in those places really, really well and really easily. I think there's also um, solutions that are embedded in NetSuite, for example, that we take advantage of that help you make decisions quicker, more accurately, point out mistakes. And so I think that can be incredibly powerful. Um, you know, For example, when we think about it, I think last year when I was talking about how I was using AI, I said, oh, well, I used it to write you know, a job description, not very exciting. Um, now we're using it for every month, you know, at month end, we want to go through all of our outstanding contracts. We want to make sure you know, that they're being appropriately renewed, if that's applicable, make sure we're recognizing revenue according to the terms in the contract. And so we're actually using our own technology to help with that process by going through the PDFs. All of our contracts are still in PDFs in a folder on a drive. And so they go through all of the PDFs and we get a summary report, which is super helpful. Our revenue manager looks at them, analyzes it. We pull out anywhere where the terms are maybe non-standard or confusing and we need to make some management discretion on it. So I think that's been really helpful for us um, as we... Yeah, I, I suspect many people in this room have taken contracts and put them in the LLMs and say, what does this mean from both buyer and seller side? Um, so, you know, you guys have great visibility into your customers, I'm sh- of course. And, you know, what are some of the things that you've sort of been learning from Cohere's customers about um, how to use AI? Yeah, Our customers use it in a variety of ways, obviously. I think one of the things that's been helpful for me to think about is as I look at where our customers are using it and realizing that, oh, yes, I do that same exact thing. Like, I look through invoices, right? I also look at where we're hiring internationally and pull together a management summary report on it. And so it's been encouraging to me to 
learn from our customers and sort of even copy in some cases their use cases. I think the inverse is true as well. Our customers ask us all the time, like, how are you using AI and where can I do that either in, you know, a finance team or an operations role? Um, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Also, a lot of our customers are international or multinational corporations. So translation is an important feature that our uh, models offer for our customers. And that's really helpful for me to remember when I'm dealing with our team. You know, we recently opened an office in Paris. And I don't speak French. And so doing any sort of real estate negotiation in French was very tricky and uh, had to use our technology to help us. Um, so that was just something that I had to remember that we can do because our customers use it this way. And so, you know, I think it's a two-way street and we're all learning together as this space evolves rapidly. Yeah. Um, we've seen in our, at NetSuite, internally at NetSuite, and, you know, we use Cohere to power our text enhance capability. And, um, you know, we have employees all over the uh, world that have to communicate within NetSuite with each other by putting in notes and things like that, and that's one of the been one of the best uses for them. Is just you know they they all do speak English, but at you know various levels of fluency, and for them to be able to clean it up and you know clean up the communication has uh, been super helpful. So as you look ahead, sort of what would you say is sort of the next big opportunity for AI and finance together? Finance has the most data that I can possibly think about for being fed into an AI, you know, tool in an AI system. So, you know, I'm sure a lot of you are, are using, you know, NetSuite in the same way I do, but you have invoices, you have your monthly reporting that's happening, you have, you know, contracts that you're looking at. And so I think AI can kind of bring a lot of that information together and make it really digestible. So, It'll go from just, you know, automating small repetitive tasks, which is great, and you should totally start there, uh, but it'll kind of help us move into how do we connect all of this information together and make holistic decisions by understanding data that would have been really hard to put together in a different environment in a different time. So I really look forward to um, just the intellectual support that it can give us um, as people working in a field and enterprises or, you know, any industry really where there's new information all the time that you have to be constantly summarizing, synthesizing, thinking about what it means. So I'm really excited about how it's going to make all of our lives better and easier and let us think about more creative things and, and how we want to grow our businesses. So I think there's really a lot to do in the future with uh, finance and AI. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about, about that. Yeah, well, we are totally on the same page and really excited to continue to work with Cohere and uh, try to bring all those kinds of uh, benefits to all of our customers and to your finance team too. So yeah, we thank love you that. so much. 